forgot what a Coke tastes like. Oh no, it's like crack. Indeed. Well, I call it Coke for a reason. <laughs> Hello there. So I'm here with Kenko, who played Sub Zero in the Mortal in the first Mortal Kombat mirror, uh, movie. Say hello to the movie boys. Well, hello guys. Uh, say hello to Jim Sterling. Jim Sterling, hello. And How are you? and Cameron Zimmerman. And Cameron Zimmerman, because they are the movie boys. Are they the movie boys? Hey, movie boys. So yeah, my name is uh, Kaden Chan Francois Petit, and I was Sub Zero. Amongst a few other things. <laughs> in the best Mortal Kombat movie, I have the to say. The real one. The real one. The real deal. Because the other one are just B movie. That was the A movie. Damn that was the A movie. That was the real deal. The other one is just extension. Indeed. So, while playing um, sort of Sub Zero, um, um, did you sort of, I mean, how, how, how did you feel about portraying it? Did, did knowing about the character affect your performance, or was it mostly just direction? Well, I was, I was attached to the movie much before we shot the movie, three years ahead of the production. Oh, wow. And I put the whole deal together with the producer, Larry Kazanov, and, uh, and then eventually um, we went through the casting process, and uh, Sub-Zero was supposed to be someone else, not me, because I didn't have a chance the time to do it. I was too much involved in the production, choreographing, hiring the people, casting the people, putting the whole thing together. But uh, I couldn't find someone who wanted, who could be Sub-Zero the way we wanted it. And on top of that, I was the opening shooting sequences of the movie. So we didn't have the right editing at that time. Everything was the first time a big martial art movie was done in Hollywood. We didn't have the knowledge and the know-how like the Chinese had for Bruce Lee. So we were a little bit lost, and you know, uh, 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 flying without a radar. So uh, I put a special choreography for us, knowing that the editing is going to be bad, knowing that's going to be the test and everything. And if you watch my character really well, there's a lot of mistakes in the fight uh, because we didn't know yeah. how to put the cameras, how to use the cameras, uh, the, the, how to use all the space we had dedicated for the fight which was the wrong space we learned from my fight for the rest of the movie and because of that my character disappeared much faster than the others because i had to help from the mistake we did to do every other fight right. so, so that was that was the thing so while you're on set um did you see much of the goro costume of course of with, course with, uh, it was unbelievable performed by tom woodruff jr yeah it was unbelievable the the, the goro costume the, the, they had so many problems with the, the four arms there were so many problems because the the the, the, the electric mechanical system was always not in tune from both sides when he was walking yeah so they had to come up with a hundred pounds of electronic digital electronic remember we're talking about 95 yeah okay 94 this is not 2017 we were really backwards on that yeah so there was a and, and it was uh, not a robber it was someone inside yeah tom woodruff yeah carrying the entire thing that was eight feet uh, over eight feet tall it was weighing 150 pounds. Wow. And he had to do move the whole thing, you know. It, it, was, it was very complicated. Wow. We, spe we wasted so, so, so much time with it, really. Well, all things considered, it... It looks of, good. Oh, yeah, God, definitely. I mean... Um, a lot of editing, a lot of... Re and uh, Take one, take two, take three, take 20. And that Mortal Kombat music, that, ah. that, that, that dance music, you know. That was brilliant. Yeah. The music... Is a huge part of Mortal Kombat, and you remember uh, my part, finish it. You know that was I love the. I, I got to choose my music for my fight, and I think for me the best music of the movie. You're down tooting. So oh, yeah. um, just to close this off, could you say, Movie Boys Chungus? Movie Boy, Chungus. Thank Please. you very much. <laughs>